2 Timothy chapter 4. In 2 Timothy 4, we have the very last words of Paul. Here we see the attitude of one of the greatest Christians as he faced his death. He was absolutely confident of his salvation in the last day. He said, I fought the good fight, I finished the course, I kept the faith. From this time forward, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, not to me alone, but also to all them that have loved his appearing. What it is to be a Christian, then, is to run a race, is to fight a war, and the victory is when we die. Because if we die in faith, then for sure we will be in God's kingdom. Death is just asleep. We will awake. Jesus will have returned. So for us, death is victory. Death is the triumphant finishing of the race. For unbelievers, of course, death is the final defeat, the worst shame, the end. When your time's run out, then the game's over. For us, it is the moment of triumph. When you were baptised, you identified yourself with the death and the resurrection of Jesus. Our death, therefore, is a death with him, and his resurrection will be ours. The crown that Paul looked forward to was the crown given when an athlete finished the race. But Paul didn't have anyone cheering him on as he came to the end of his amazing race. Paul faced death almost alone. He laments that most of his Christian brothers had forsaken him, but Paul sets us an example of what it means to be secure in our relationship with Jesus. Despite being forsaken by his brothers, despite being rejected, it seems, by the local church in Rome, Paul was certain of his salvation and had absolute security in his relationship with Jesus. He wasn't self-righteous earlier. He'd written to Timothy that he felt the worst sinner. He was increasingly aware of his sinfulness, but increasingly aware of God's grace to him and the absolute certainty of his salvation. 